for this project I started with a seven and a half inch heart that I had picked up from Michaels. I had actually ordered some online but they sent the wrong size so I went up to Michaels and I found this. And um, then I took it and I put this glass, this is celestial glass, it's fire glass, clear, one quarter inch and I put it on the heart in the spots. I was just trying to see where I wanted it. Then I took resin and spread it in the areas that I decided I wanted the fire glass to go. Just a little bit, just enough to hold the first layer down. And honestly, I probably should have put the second layer on at this time, but I did not. I ended up doing it later. So um, even though I have it kind of piled up, only the first layer will stick, of course, to the resin. So um, this was the first step reason I'm putting it under the glass instead of on the glass is if you flood the glass with the resin, the sparkle from the glass will disappear. So the less resin that you have to put on top of it, and eventually we will have to when we do the second layer, the less, um, the better off you are because it will sparkle more. If you flood that glass, all the sparkle will disappear. The next, I the next day after it dried, and I should have done this before, I flipped it over with the glass <laughs> facing down and took this painter's tape and covered the back to help prevent. That way when the resin drips down and around the back, you can just pull the tape off and it'll keep the back of it cleaner. Next, I mixed up my resin and I poured it into three separate cups. I put the snowflake, eye candy snowflake, eye candy red, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, and the unicorn art 24 karat gold, and all three of them are beautiful. And um, all resins are different. This particular resin takes, you have um, 45 minute work time with it. So I actually let it sit for an hour till it thickened up. And when you're doing this kind of art with resin, you're better off letting it thicken up. Now there's other resins that you can use that have a shorter work time and um, thicken up quicker. So I would almost uh, suggest that you do that. So when it's real thick like this, it kind of stays separate. When it's real thin, they have a tendency to run into each other more. And see the red stripes that I'm putting on? If it was thinner, those would kind of totally disappear in it. Just like any white stripes or anything, it all kind of meshes together the thinner it is, I think. So um, I did take and I put this all along the sides also because I like when the sides are shiny. Now I am going to paint the sides also. So it's raw wood on the sides with a little bit of paint on it. And I just think that the, what I'm going to put on it would go on more smoothly if there is the smooth resin on the sides. Continue to put stripes of resin on until I'm happy with the way it, it looks. So the next day I flipped it over and took the tape off. It's in your best interest to take it off as soon as you possibly can. The sooner you do it, the easier it is to take off. And I'm also using this heat gun, which is actually an embossing tool that works really well um, and is easy to handle uh, to help get it off. It kind of um, loosens the tape up and whatever resin is sticking there. And although there is still a little bit of resin on the back, it looks a lot better than if you had um, not used any tape at all. I also use this embossing tool a lot as a heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. It gets really hot and it's um, very easy to aim at the, you know, exactly where you want it to be. The thing I use in this video, I will link under the description. So the next, um, so after that I came back and I took some celestial glass, more celestial glass, the fire glass, and put on a second layer. And sometimes when you wait till the next day to put the second layer on, you can hide underneath it some of the imperfections if some of the colored resin has seeped underneath. And then I just take a little bit of resin and drizzle it over. You don't want to totally saturate it. You just want to drizzle it. And then I take something called diamond dust. And it's very um, fine crushed glass 
that you dr you um, sprinkle over and it will stick to the new resin that you've put on and it really makes it sparkle and then I go ahead and do it again to um, the other side here put drizzle some more resin on and then take the diamond dust and sprinkle that over um, the only warning about the diamond dust is don't um, don't crush it between your fingers <laughs> because you can get the glass shards in your fingers just kind of sprinkle it onto the top and this is what it looks like I picked this up on Amazon and it's one of the least expensive crushed glass that you can buy and isn't that sparkly it's so pretty after that had all dried I mixed up the 24 karat gold mica powder and the varnish and I'll link both of them in the description mix that up and I actually painted this on now some people will actually take the gold and you know put it in the resin and use that around the edges of the glass but you have much more control over where it goes when you do it like this and uh, I just find it easier to paint it on you can get in all the little cracks and crevices you have control over where all of the gold goes or whatever color you're using and um, as you can see I'm also painting along the edges with the gold it is so pretty and of course it's the same mica powder that I used in the resin for the project so the golds will match up so I just think it's really beautiful Hey everyone, I hope you like my Valentine heart. <laughs> so I've been watching a lot of geode video videos where they do them on canvas and I think they are so pretty. And that's where I got this idea from. Uh, and I kind of would like to do some similar art in the future. I like to kind of try all different things. But anyway, um, that's where I got the idea. And um, what I was saying about the resin thickening up, I really feel like you hit the thicker it is, um, the better off you are, and the less chance it'll be of running into each other. Now, a lot of people, when they do um, this kind of art, they will use the heat gun and blow it into each other to give it like a marbling effect. So um, some people like that. I'm not sure. I think they let the, I think they use resins that are, um, thicker have a, a shorter work time I guess I'd say because this art resin has a super super um, long work time so that's why I let it set so long and um, this uh, diamond dust is so pretty and that's the trick to the sparkle now this glass will sparkle as long as you don't put too much resin on it but when you add this um, it really makes a big difference, the diamond dust. And you can put this on any of your glass art projects. It'll make it sparkle. But the trick is to sprinkle it on and don't put any resin over it um, because if you do, the sparkle will be gone. That's why you only want to drizzle resin over the top of the uh, celestial glass or the fire glass also because it will lose its sparkle. So, um, so this is the last thing that goes on. And the next day... Um, you know, it will only be stuck to the areas where the resin was. So the next day you have to tap, tap, tap and make sure that the, um, the pieces that didn't adhere of the diamond dust fall off. So, you know, do it on a table or a piece of paper that you can pick it up and toss out. You don't want to just pick it up and carry it around the house because you'll have little shards of glass all over. And um, when you're putting it on, don't go like this, rub it between your fingers, because I got shards in my fingers. It was like, oh, it's really glass. And um, <laughs> so just kind of pick it up. I mean, it's, it's not like it pokes you when you pick it up, but just pick it up and then just lightly put it over. Just don't rub hard with your fingers. And um, so this, like I said, I ended up getting from Michael's. You can get them on Amazon, but they had sent me the wrong size. I had to go back and look. I thought I didn't order um, four inch hearts. So this is actually a nine inch heart. I think on the video, I may have said it was a seven inch heart. And um, these two I made prior to making that one. And these turned out real cute. And these hearts were actually from the Dollar Tree. They had little signs on them that said, um, love you or miss you or, you know, Valentine things. And I had to paint them white. 
but um, these are, I believe, one inch thick. And um, I went back to see if I could find some more because I didn't video these. So I thought, oh, well, I got to video them. They turned out so cute and um, there weren't any more. And I went to like five different Dollar Trees. We live in an area where there's a Dollar Tree on every corner practically and nobody had them anymore. So, um, but the thing that I did notice, so I made a mistake. So I think these look real pretty. Look at them. And now can you see what the difference is? What I did on this one that I didn't do on this. So I put the gold around the edges, uh, both edges of the uh, celestial or fire glass. And I kind of like it not having the gold at the, the bottom edge or the top edge. What about you guys? I think this looks prettier than this. I think I should have left uh, the gold off of the top. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me. <laughs> and um, the other thing is, so this gold that I used, that was the mixture of the 24 karat unicone gold and the varnish is the same gold, of course, that I used in the resin. So that way it matches. And this, when you're using this, you really have to wear a mask. Do it outside or do it in a well-ventilated area. But even if it's in a well-ventilated area, you need to wear a mask. And, um, and also, after you mix it up, if you mix up too much, you can put a top on it and store it. Um, I used it up to a week later, so I'm not sure how long it'll last, but I don't know why it wouldn't last a long time. And so um, I think those were the major the major tips. So by the time this comes out, I think Valentine's Day is going to be right around the corner. But, you know, you could make these hearts. They don't have to be for Valentine's Day. And you could do them in different colors. And um, there's all different ways to do it. I'm going to be experimenting a little more. A lot of people will take, after they do this part, they'll take Sharpies and draw on them to make it look more like a geode. And then they'll pour clear resin over it again. Or the other thing they do is they mix um, they mix the colored resin in with some glitter or just glitter resin and then put draw lines on it with that. And then after that dries, then they put another clear coat over it. There's all sorts of um, cool things to do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. If you um, like the channel, you can go ahead and subscribe and you will be notified of future videos. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.